What is new comparing to allocation functions in SAP ECC? The seamless integration of allocation preparation and execution, the transparency and traceability of allocations, thanks to a graphical modeling and visualization, as well as simulation capabilities, which allow you to validate an impact of changed allocation rules on financial results in multiple currencies. All these improvements are big wins for companies who have complex organizational structures and multiple allocation cycles. The universal allocation function are called universal as they allow allocations and distributions of plan as well as actual data for both cost centers and profit centers and different ledgers. All this only from two central apps. This is a significant simplification comparing to SAP ECC processes spread on multiple transaction codes. The simplified data model behind the new allocation functions and the single source of truth, the Universal Journal, help to improve the performance and to save time during month and closing. Welcome to this demonstration of universal allocation functions that are available with SAP S4HANA release 1909. There are two important Fiori apps that you should consider. The first one is Manage Allocations and the second one is Run Allocations. Now let's have a look at Manage Allocations. In this part of the screen you see different filters and it's now possible to filter the different allocations by different criteria. I enter here a company code name because it's now the case that you have to assign every allocation to a company code. Let's go and have a look at the results. You see here are some cycles that I created for demonstration purposes. I now click on the details of this allocation. It's an overhead allocation and you also see here in the general information there is a validity period that you have to select and you have to assign the cycle to a company code. You can then decide whether you need um, actual quantities and transaction currency and in the segment here in the segment area you can define the different segments. I have created here a demo segment. If you would like to add additional segments it's possible to switch to edit mode. You do this with a button here on top and then with the plus sign you can easily add additional segments. But let's now go back to our demo. So here you see the segment and you see that there are some rules that you have to enter. I can add here the segment description. You also need to select here an allocation account, overhead allocation account. You have to enter sender details, a sender rule, the percentage, and also the receiver basis and the receiver rule. In the sender tab you have to enter the account numbers and the cost center. For example, you can add single values, intervals or groups. You then have to, to fill in here the different fields depending on what you have selected as value type. In the receiver section you have to enter the cost centers that are the receivers. You also have here the opportunity to enter single value, interval or group. In the receiver basis, you then can allocate the different percentages to the different receivers. You can enter individual percentages. You have then the opportunity to check the segment. You have to click the button Check Segment. If you have entered all the right values, the formal check result will be OK and no errors will be recorded. We now close here. 
the view and we go back to the overview. You can now directly run the cycle. You only click this button, run. What happens? You go directly to the other app that we just saw in the beginning of the presentation. The name is Run Allocations. What we now do is that we display com completed runs. We just select go and then you see here is a run that I already completed. What can I do now? For demo purposes I will now reverse the cycle. So I only click reverse and then I wait for the result. And what do you see? Here, it's completely reversed and completed. So, what do I do now? I would like now to create a new allocation run. So, I go back to run. And now, what I would like to do, I would like to create a test run. So, I have to enter a new run name. I have to select a journal entry type, in this case CO for controlling. I have to select the fiscal period, in this case it's March 2020. And then I just enter OK. You see, the test run was triggered su successfully. I now click display completed runs, go and I see that my test run is completed. I can now click here onto this button and then I see the detailed result of the test run. I see the number of senders and the number of receivers. In the sender section I see also the amount that were calculated by the system. In the receiver section I see the different cost senders and the receivers. There are no messages. In the allocation result you see here there is a network graph. If I select it and select also the global currency then I can see the result of my allocation in a very smart visual design. I see the sender and I see the different receivers. I can now go back and do the real run. So, what do I need to do? I need to create a real run or run. I have to enter a name, the journal entry type, the fiscal period, and I have to confirm. Then the run started. I again click display completed runs, go, and then you see the run is already completed. If I now go to the details of the run, I will have here some messages. And you, you find here the document number was generated, that was generated. If I go back to allocation results, I can have again a look here. at the visual demonstration. If I work with different currencies, I can easily change the currency by selecting the one I would like to analyze.